Hello everyone. As I always mention, you are watching this video means it is an indicator that your love for psychology will definitely show the direction to the society ahead. Before proceeding further, I would like to emphasize that at the time of preparation for entrances, you should have faith in yourself and keep the desire to learn systematically. This will definitely make you successful. If I will ask which organ is responsible for emotion, what you will say? Most probably, your answer will be amygdala. But the amygdala is responsible for many more activities and to understand different aspects of behavior, it is important that we must know about other important aspects of the amygdala, which is also important for psychology entrance examinations. So let's begin with this topic. No doubt the amygdala is responsible for emotions, but emotion influences various cognitive processes, including learning and memory. The amygdala play a prominent role in mediating many aspects of emotional learning and behavior. And there are vast variety of human emotions like from joy to sadness, lethargy to excitement and regret to satisfaction. We present various emotions in day-to-day -day life and most emotions come with valence as well as intensity. So when you are presenting any emotion, we label them in positive or negative. When you presenting, when you are showing certain emotion, we can say, okay, this kind of emotion is positive in this particular condition, in this particular environment or negative in this particular condition or environment. Along with balance, there will be intensity in emotion. So when you are presenting emotion like sadness, there will be low sadness, moderate sadness or high sadness. So most emotions come with valence as well as intensity. A study conducted by psychologist Kluver, K-L-U-V-E-R and neurosurgeon Busey, B-U-C-Y. So psychologist Kluver and neurosurgeon Busey conducted an experiment and in this particular experiment, they observed monkeys with damage of the temporal lobe that included the amygdala, that included amygdala as well. So monkeys, temporal lobe and amygdala was damaged and experimenter Kluver and Busey identified that there are various changes in their emotion as well as behavior related to feeding and behavior related to sex. So they found that if there will be damage in temporal lobe as well as amygdala, so their impact will be on various emotion including behavior related to feeding and behavior related to sexual activity. There are many functions but there are few specific functions that are very important for uh, psychology entrance examination. Without understanding those concepts, it will be little difficult to answer those questions because in most of the entrance examination, there are few specific function related to amygdala that they are asking in entrance examinations, right? So I will try to mention all those functions that is really important for exam point of view, fine? So like I mentioned earlier, amygdala is responsible for learning, emotional learning as well as sexual behavior. Along with all these functions, amygdala is also responsible for few more functions. So first is fear conditioning. Fear conditioning is one of the important function right of amygdala we can say we will try to understand fear conditioning through an experiment right 
so this study conducted on a patient with damaged amygdala and normal person so we can say there are two group in group a or in group 1 there is a patient with damaged amygdala and in second group in group b there is a uh, normal person right we can say this so in the beginning right uh, uh, experimenter presented various card right with different color in front of those individual who have damaged amygdala so experimenter presented green blue yellow red color in front of uh, uh, patient with damaged amygdala and after a certain color they presented loud noise loud sound right and they recorded their autonomic responses through gsr recording and they found that patient did not become conditioned to color followed by the loud sound so patient is not conditioned right but when they performed the same experiment with normal people they developed condition they developed fear just due to conditioning so on the basis of this experiment we can say if there will be damage in amygdala individual will not able to perform conditioning right so in this experiment those individual right uh, uh, you know who was there with damaged amygdala right they failed right to develop fear right but those individual who was normal they developed fear to the color due to conditioning right so fear conditioning is important function of amygdala along with fear conditioning we can say a reward processing emotional memory right all these are the function of amygdala and amygdala is also involved in the regulation or modulation of a variety of cognitive functions right like attention like uh, perception like right memory so these are few cognitive functions that is associated with amygdala so amygdala is involved with regulation or modulation of various cognitive functions such as attention perception memory if you have difficulty understanding fear conditioning uh, reward processing emotional memory cognitive function right then let me know in comment box and i will try to make a separate video to clarify all these points right uh, we can also say that amygdala is responsible for social behaviors too right because emotions influence cognitive processes such as attention memory formation and decision making right i already mentioned earlier that amygdala is uh, responsible for various cognitive processes in which attention is there memory formation is there decision making is there and all these function like memory formation decision making attention play a prominent role in social behaviors one more thing that uh, i want to mention here a structural and functional changes in the amygdala are also associated with a wide variety of psychological abnormalities in humans like there are various anxiety disorders right uh, depression schizophrenia like we can say PTSD, phobia, panic, uh, uh, depression, schizophrenia, autism, right? All these are associated with amygdala. But when I am mentioning these disorder, that does not mean that amygdala causes these disorder. It simply means that in people who have this particular, these particular disorders, then changes occur in amygdala 
so due to amygdala individual not developing these disorder like depression like uh, ptsd schizophrenia but if any individual have these disorders so there will be impact on amygdala right so there will be certain changes in amygdala right so we can say there are various functions of amygdala that i mentioned here like first that is fear conditioning reward processing emotional uh, memory social behavior learning cognitive processes along with all these psychological abnormalities is also associated with amygdala so hopefully you must have got uh, some new information related to the amygdala which will further expand your understanding related to this particular topic and you will be able to answer at least one question in different entrance examination if you have any query related to amygdala or any other part of psychology you can mention in the comment box or you can find me over social media right and uh, be motivated for your goal and believe me if you will be motivated for your goal if you study systematically you will definitely get success right bye take care